Hi folks, this is what I did last week, I think it was last week, yeah it would have been, <clears throat> with the oils. Uh, it's uh, basically an abstract of my local little river wandle. I want to do something similar. <clears throat> now you have to forgive my talking, I, I got really attacked by the, all the, uh, the solvents for oil painting. Uh, namely, uh, a, an alkyd flow medium, which was beautiful to use. <clears throat> but with that and uh, a brush cleaner, they conspire to uh, affect my breathing and chest. So I'm on steroids at the moment. Steroids and a, and a special inhaler to open up my airways. Scary stuff. So be careful. If you've got an, a possibility of an allergy to solvents with oil paint, then there are alternatives and I've got a, an oil here that I just bought from from a, my local supermarket Sainsbury's or any other one it's uh, walnut oil there we are, walnut oil uh, walnut oil uh, nothing special about it it's for cooking and I've mixed it with a bit of uh, drying linseed oil, which I believe contains alkyd. But alkyd is made apparently from alcohol, so these are organic products. The other ones are petroleum based and uh, they can be toxic. Well, they're labelled as toxic. <coughs> so after losing a few nights sleep, trying to get my breath, I'm uh, back on the mend but uh, I don't want to give up the oil painting in favour of acrylic and I certainly don't want to, to use the water soluble oils many of you recommend them that's fine but I'm I'm quite happy with either this if this doesn't work ultimately I'll go back to the acrylics well I'll do acrylics anyway but I'm going to try a bit of an experiment I'm going to paint some of that over my PVA primed MDF, MDF medium density fibre board. It was just off cuts I got from my my mate the framer, David Skingle, Sackville Frames, give them a mention, in Wellington where I live. Who used it to, to obviously to back paintings, photograph for paintings. So I'm going to paint into, into that oil. Now, I, I've been using three colours, but I've extended the range today. I've, I've added light red and black. Uh, black and the blue, the ultramarine blue, give a good uh, cool blue distance. Uh, but we'll see how we go. I, I like the dramatic skies I've been getting. Quite happy with those. So we'll, a uh, bit of oil. Bit of, bit of blue, bit of light red. The light red is, is an artist quality one, so it has to, it's much stronger than, than the blue I'm mixing with it. I'm not going to copy the, the, the one I've just shown you. I just want to to do a, a version of it for want of anything better. And so I've got uh, cadmium red lights and, and um, cadmium yellow hail. Fairly low horizon. Okay, so one dark brush, one light brush. Uh, put a bit of, bit of light colour. There now, so a bit of the light cadmium light and the uh, cadmium pile yellow. Might be better with a bit of light red actually. Light red mixes very well with with the uh, yellow. So let's just put a nice oily oily picture. It will dry. Hopefully, with a bit of that alkyd resin. 
and I'll put my wall, my water in. Let's move to one side a bit. Okay. So this difference to the the other one. Uh, nice, nice light on the on this horizon. Could put trees there. Oh, let's get my. So it's a bit too streaky. But we'll just see how it how it pans out. Okay, as that dries, we can <coughs> modify it. The drying is a bit of a misnomer because this won't dry it might go touch dry right now that's a dark brush so put in some background so a bit of bit of blue bit of black bit of white and we've got a, a nice cool blue for the distance. Basically these are my river wanderer, as you know. Very much abused. Okay. Got a lot, a lot of ladies in for lunch today. It's a birthday party, my wife providing the venue and, and the food. Alright, then we'll, we'll soften a bit of that. Let some air in. And a little bit darker. Blue. Give another plane. For me, painting is about trying to create an atmosphere rather than a likeness. This is more abstract. Making a painting rather than a copy. Right, okay. The brush a bit of clean. Then I can just smell a nice oily vegetable oil now. <coughs> <coughs> Having said that, no choking uh, pet petroleums. Alright, we'll put in a bit of the river, work away while it's still wet. Be great. Feel that colour. Okay. I'm a great believer that if it looks right, it is right. I like painting on this fibre board. I used to use the thicker MDF, the uh, six mil, but it's very heavy and I'm, as you know, I'm a very prolific painter and it all takes up room. I've got, a, this, is, this room my studio is, is in the loft, so it was a purpose-built room with a shower room, toilet, 
as well. Ironing board, place to hang the washing out to dry when the weather's not very good. <coughs> and uh, I've got a loft above it and it's got about 12 packets of watercolours, acrylics. Got a bit of pink, pink in there. Some greys to soften, soften all this. Just subtly changing. Adding in some bit of red. Nothing wrong with a bit of bit of red in your sky. Now that is picking up the uh, light coming in from a, a window above to my right. Right, this will build building up sl slowly. Now there's quite a lot of oil on there now. I bought the uh, the uh, cadmium red light for poppies as and when I go down to the more meadowy things. Right, back into that blue, a bit of black. using big or large bristle brushes just a little balance okay we'll put in some uh, so we'll carry that blue over a bit far there Don't want symmetrical sides. Okay, something like that. Now, a bit of a greenery now. So I'll mix some blue and some bit of black and some cajello. Touch of red in there, sure. <coughs> Put some dark in there. The what you put on stays more or less where you where you put it. Let's get a nice bit of orange in there now. Orangey. Right, let's work on the other side now. Some some nice brightish
colors here. Catching a bit of that light. Okay, take the dark brush, give it a bit of a clean. So, and what I'm using to clean the brushes <coughs> which I think I should have to take a swig off is a uh, small figure. Used to use that when I was a lad in the engineering. Wipe out. The oil and grease of her hands. Now I grew up in a blacksmith shop, and my dad was a blacksmith for some years, 27 years. They died. But I carried on working as a, just as a slave, really in between jobs, holidays. Don't want to lose those shadowy bits. Cycle along this little river. Every week. Didn't go this week though, didn't have the breath for it. But next week will be alright. Now the tones there are too close together. So we either need complementary colours, which is red, or a red orangey greeny colour. Not just putting any detail in, or well, trying not to, just want the masses. The river is uh, very small, it's only 16 miles from its source to the Thames. Not having one of my colours there, just a, just a little bit too light. I think a better red really is the ordinary cadmium red. But you want the dark so that you can counter change your lights. So I think I'm going to put a little bit out. So we've now got six colours, although I'm only using little bits of these. The main colours are black, blue, white and yellow. Anyway. See, I'm blending the, the paint on the palette with the oil. That's it, that's back. Get some reds in. Red and green, complementary colours. Right, let's go back and get some of that on the other side now. Nice shadowy. Isn't 
remember we're not doing realism here. We're doing what we, what makes us happy, what we like to see in a painting. Put a bit of dark blue in there, I think. Just the, the ultra red in there. Okay, let's just bring that back out for a little bit. Try there. Put a bit of that reflected. Yeah. Right, a bit of white with that uh, pinky colour. Pick up that cloud. Right, a bit over the other side now. I want this tree clump to be higher. So I want an orange. Sort of an orange. Your wife's in it. And that nice bit of a shadow. Now there's some darkest greens, but start there's black and yellow. And add a bit of red.
Yeah. Bit of blue. I can't show you mixing and painting because I've only got one little camera. More likely. Be red. Why another greens? Just catching the light through there. That is too obvious there. So I'll just take that bit out, put the darks in. Now, um, how's that look? Looking right on the screen, I've got the lights, lights brush. It's going to make more of that there. Now I can see the, the paint running, the oil running down there. But I want to put it in a in a mount. Or in the frame. Get that oil there. Let's go over this. To soften. Just gentle bit of blending and merging, and we get a sort of picture. Without any detail at all. And I've used Two big brushes. Just putting the air back in here. Okay, so that's all we've done. Let's just use those two brushes, and that only because we've we've had one dark brush and one light brush. Camera. I'm looking at the camera, it shows a lot of pink here, but there isn't, it's mostly uh, a creamy colour. That's uh, more a lake, isn't it? <coughs> uh, because the wonder was not that wide, and maybe if I put in some other. See what we can come up with. Let's just make make it a bit close it down a little bit here. Make 
little bit. bit smaller, a bit narrower. Put the shadow of the bank. How's that? It's a little better. Using a sort of a the ultima in there. Oh. What happens? We just touch the hairs. And it just stays where you put it. Trunks. One dark bit in here. Right, any more than that, I'm going to detract from it. So I'll put it in a frame. I'll have, a, have a look. It's lovely and shiny, I don't know how it's going to dry. I'll put a couple of tacks in it as well, just to stop it falling out of the frame. Just touch the oil here, it's just a little bit thin. I'm not advocating any rules with this. It's just a, my take on it. I've had no official training in art at any time. So I've had to learn like you the hard way. So there we are now. I've used a lot of oil in that, and I'm going to have to leave it flat for an hour or so. Otherwise, it will just soak down. But you can see the lovely effects of working thick and thin. And all my work is out of prima, which means that I I start and finish. Unless I, I deliberately set, set out to do two uh, two parts, 
I've got quite a lot on Patreon as well. I've got about 160 videos on there. Uh, maybe sometimes let's have a little look at them. It's just soften. Feather. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on. Bye bye.